Okay, original Pisces, March 12th to April 18th from the original Zodiac. Let's get a goddess card for this one. Yes, Pisces. What goddess would like to come through? Feminine energy. A little, a little bit hesitant we are for the Pisces. My right eye is twitching currently at this moment. So maybe stress to the tits. What goddess needs to come through? What message? Pisces. Two fish. Neptune. Oh, yeah. Assurance. There's assurance and there's reassurance. Danu. Number 10. New beginnings. Endings of old way. She's beautiful. She's beautiful, and there's more than one side to her. A lot of people underestimate kindness, assurance. Don't take it for granted. Okay, Tuesday is important. Tuesday, 13, getting one and three is four, maybe four for February coming up, not sure. Uh, Danu, what do you have for the sprouting? What else do you have? Like a diamond, diamond in the rough. Huh. Movement stopped. Moon in reverse. Maybe there's some things that came out you did not, you did not want to know about. There's some things that came out that you did not want to know about. This such as life. Things are going to come out, even whether or not you want to hear the truth. Usually the truth comes out, regardless of how long it takes, the truth will come out. Again, Tuesdays popping out. Um... If movement has slowed down, then maybe we're being a little bit stubborn, and that's fine. Everybody has their moments where they know they should go forward with something or do something or act a certain way or say certain words, and we get a little bit fearful of what the result's going to be. Regardless, that should not stop you. What is going to be more haunting and more stagnant is the fact that you don't speak up and say what you need to say. Um, solid, I, I believe, is good for cleansing energy. If that's something you want to take a look into, there could be many different things that you need to clear out if you need to do a cleansing. Um, again, diamond in the rough. If you're somebody that recognizes your value and worth and you've been fighting so hard and you're getting to the point where you wish to turn to the other side, that other side of you, wait. Don't strike. You're going to regret it. Wait and do more introspection. Do more healing. Do more learning about yourself first. Ending of old ways of thinking. Sprouting up new ways. That fire that burns within you can also go side by side with the water. If you got those two elements right now, balance it out. If you strike right now or you do something, you're going to regret it. You may kick your butt, kick yourself in the butt. So just be patient. I know you've probably heard this so many times. Be patient. Now, the two fish, I usually see facing away from each other. However, that's not really... Um, that's not really good for problem solving. And then I seen another, um, there's even a video I did of the other Pisces one where the fish were like side by side and their bellies were touching and they're kind of like joined together. So maybe your darker side and your lighter side, um, if there's healing for your inner child that needs to be done, maybe go within through your inner child to do that healing. Maybe ask them for help. So that you can get that bond between the two. Because believe it or not, what people don't, I don't think a lot of people know this, but your light side and your dark side, even in your childhood state, there was a darker side to them. 
um, usually an energy or entity or something like that that's developed over some sort of trauma, but it was still present. And it still need is, needs to be acknowledged. So if you could do the mending between your, your inner child, light and dark shadow side and light side, you know, maybe that might help. Um, anyways, so number 10, beauty. I got that. It came out. You are beautiful. You've always been beautiful. Man or woman, you've been handsome and beautiful. If other people don't see your light and you've been struggling, please don't turn straight on the dark and be in the defense because it's not going to help. You need to have the balance there. You can acknowledge both sides. <sighs> Be careful. Danu, empowerment message. The appearance of the Celtic earth goddess, Danu, who gave birth to magic, portends the fulfillment of your desires and the fruition of your dreams. Whatever it is that you're inquiring about, Danu gives her assurance that you're in the process of becoming. Now is the time to trust whatever you have planted, planned, and worked towards is being lovingly birthed. All you need to do is stay in the flow of events and be ready for your next opportunity. Everything has a perfect season. Just as follow ground carries the promise of new life that appears again in the spring, as if magically biden from the invisible to the visible, Danu offers her promise of grounded assurance that's kind of like your reassurance if you haven't been getting that i'm gonna reassure you now take the time to do your healing don't strike like a viper on your enemies especially or anybody that's upset you because most triggers are there to help teach us um, about ourselves so that we can learn if you strike at another their purpose may have only been to trigger the shit out of you Okay, and you can't really, uh, I wouldn't say you can't shoot the messenger because they're not really delivering you a message, but it's almost like your higher self is delivering you a message. So you're kind of getting mad at yourself. Anyways, alignment message. There are days when you wonder if you're on the right track. I'm going to say you are as long as you don't make rash decisions. If your dreams are valid, if you have what it takes to show up and shine, you may have hit a dry spell where it appears that nothing is happening and it makes you kind of doubt yourself. When this earth goddess appears, she is reminding you of the promise of new life. Just as fields are often left purposefully follow, perhaps this is seeming bleh, perhaps this seemingly dry spell of yours is really a preparation time. Under the ground of your visible life lies a stream of abundance that is feeding the roots of the seedlings of your intentions planted in your field of dreams. Make sure those intentions are good. If they're only of negative out of spite, it's not going to help. Go about your day-to-day -day life with faith. Danu assures you that the form of your desires will show up in divine timing in an even more magical way than you could imagine. Okay? Yes, you can kick ass, but you don't need to right now. Just breathe. 